Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. It, why are my eyes so itchy at the moment? Is anyone else's eyes itchy or is that just me? Hi, me, just popping in to say I just wanted to let you know that I do have a second channel where I post vloggy type content um, and we are getting ready for vlogmas. So I'll link it down below and you can check it out after you watch this video if you want to. Let me link down below. Today's video, what we're gonna be doing is, last year, we tried the least popular fast food orders. Now, I love going on Reddit and reading things because it's fascinating, fascinating. And there's this Reddit thread of the most underrated fast food orders. So I've looked at that and I've taken a little pinch, sprinkling of that, and there are a few other articles. So we're gonna try today the most underrated fast food orders and I've never tried any of them because they're underrated so I just haven't given them the time or day that they deserve the poor things they're just trying their best and I haven't I haven't given them the love and care and attention that they need so we're gonna go and try them now let's go and explore the world of underrated fast food so the first place we're gonna venture to we're gonna have to hop out of the car uh, and get takeaway. So we're gonna go to Greg's. Now I don't think this is in other countries. This is a the UK special. And the thing is, this is what we've got when we haven't got the you know the likes of Chick Fil A. We haven't got Taco Bell. And, uh, easy access. There's a few dotted around, but it's not as many sprinkled around as there is in the US, uh, which is unfortunate because I love Chipotle and I don't have one near me. We're gonna go to Greg's Costa KFC and then we're gonna come back and do a food review. First up we're gonna try this. So we've got the veggie option here as much as I was judged by the lady which is the veggie rice box. Apparently this is astronomical word on the street i don't know what we're going to be getting ourselves in for but like i've tried something like this for before wow there's a lot happening in here it's kind of re reminiscent i would say of a taco bell scenario that i'm not saying it's the same <gasps> oh my gosh they've given me wet wipes oh i love that and a little salt sachet do you always get that in kfc that is fantastic okay let's give this a go we've got the rice here oh angie is piping hot this rice looks kind of good you know no it's not that flavorful you know i thought there'd be a punch there just if it tastes like uncle ben's rice in fact i think uncle ben's rice might be better and then here we have some sort of a beanie beanie moment let's try her i can smell the spice i can smell it in my nostrils Mm. Oh, that is not for me. It tastes fermented. It tastes like alcoholy. I mean, if I feel like if you like barbecue sauce or sweet and sour or something, it's like that. It's quite tangy. It's quite. Tangy. Let's go for this salad ratio. The, the corn looks good. It looks fresh. It doesn't look limp. Hmm. There just seems to be a funny taste in the air. And if you're looking for an alternative at KFC, this is quite a good alternative. It's a healthy portion. There's real life fresh veg. You've got this sauce and you've got the veg, the rice. So we've got quite a nice little balanced meal here. But I wouldn't say it's underrated. I wouldn't get it again. I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. But I would eat it. It's a little lacklustre. I was hoping for something a little bit more. And then from Costa. Now, what was on the list was the cold brew honeycomb coffee. But I asked the lady, I'm not doing cold brew. So she said, maybe you'll want a honeycomb Americano. Love that. I love it when people who work at the place offer you a suggestion. I absolutely love it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you know best. You work here. So give it to me. All right. We have a honeycomb. Now we all know I don't like coffee, but maybe the honeycomb will save this. Wow. That was actually quite that was an experience that felt like do you know what first of all right let me take you on this journey that i just experienced whilst drinking this you're walking through a field you're stung by a wasp ah you get the pang of coffee you carry on walking then you get to enjoy the sweet sweet scent of the meadow the sound of the wind in the trees and then you carry on walking and then you trip in mud 
and you get hit with this almost slightly sicky, sicky taste, but then you also get the warmth of the honeycomb coming through. And it's also, it's a very strong smell. But at the same time, I don't hate it. And I hate coffee. It's interesting. Interesting. I don't know what you're saying. It's not that bad. It is refreshing. And I thought I'd never could say that about coffee. It's refreshing. Blount. Oh, no. I didn't like that mouthful. It's like every mouthful is a different taste. Go to Greg's now and get our last little last little bit. And then we can journey on to Starbs. Back from Greg's. Unfortunately, they didn't have the number one under underrated item, which was a tea cake. And I fundamentally love tea cakes. I don't think, again, I think they are highly underrated. They just, they're just like... They can be a snack, they can be a breakfast, they can be pudding, they can warm you up, they can... Oh, I just think tea cakes hit different. One thing that is great about Greg's is they do regional things. So, they have a Stotty's cake, where Stotty's cake is. Like every area does what they are known for, and I think that's great. Maybe there's just no tea cakes in my area. And then the second thing that was mentioned was this, which I would never in a million years ever pick. And uh, this is very my brother. A jammy shortbread. There was actually the full thing of the jammy shortbreads was still full. Whereas all the donuts, all the eclairs, all that were running low. Whereas these, maybe they've just been topped up. But I don't think I've ever seen someone be like, Can I have a jammy shortbread please? Other than my brother to be fair. It's just like a giant jammy dodger, isn't it? Don't go breaking my heart. Here we go. You know what? There's something quite comforting about that. Something reminiscent of childhood times. Mm. I, I was dubious about the texture. I thought it was going to be too sandy, but actually, kind of slaps. Mm. 10 out of 10, would order again. And the thing with shortbread sometimes is you need a beverage with it. Whereas this, don't need a beverage. That is the biggest bumblebee I've ever seen in my life. I think bumblebees are getting bigger these days. Does that mean there's more flowers in the room? In the room? In the air? Really good. Mmm! That food! Mmm! But I go to Starbucks now, and apparently try it the two most underrated drinks at Starbs. I'm with you. I also hate the fact that I called it Starbs. Why did I do that? As by voted on Reddit. So let's go. This is so good. So humble. I just feel like it's innocent. I feel like it's humble and innocent. Starbucks, I'm coming for you. So apparently one of the most unordered things. I'm a bit self-conscious because there's a man watching me and I'm a bit shy. I'm just too shy for this. I'm still bitter because the other, when the Starbucks app re-downloaded on my phone because it got this new technology or something, all my Starbucks stars that I'd saved up, I was like three away from gold level, just deleted. I should have called them. But I think it's too late now, so I lost all my stars. Honestly, I take my loyalty schemes very, very seriously. I just thought they, they haven't been loyal to me, if I'm honest, because after all my hard work, saving those points up, and then they just desert me like that. Oh, wow! They've got all their Christmas drinks. They look fun. Eggnog latte? I've never even tried eggnog, but I want to try it. A smoked salmon cream cheese croissant? My sister would love that. One of them is a strawberry blended iced lemonade, but I have a feeling that's the summer menu is i feel like it's different from the no please 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 no they only have the tropical mango one. Oh no i'm so bummed no other drink was a double shot iced coffee since we don't have the summertime i'm going for this one which is apparently the most underrated but they're concerned because it's during the holidays but luckily it's literally during the holidays right so i'm gonna add the gingerbread latte as well we're gonna try that controversially this is probably one of the most controversial opinions i have in the whole of the world soya milk is my favorite milk alternative and i've never come across anyone else who agrees everyone's like oat or almond okay right we're gonna try first gingerbread latte soy milk and i added the vegan whipped cream because to be honest oh it's got sparkles on it oh i love christmas if i'm honest i don't see what's different about that to the pumpkin spice latte i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna say it oh i like these little gold star things kind of tastes like gingerbread is it just crushed up gingerbread it's okay i think that is gingerbread mm. there's little bits of gingerbread i don't know why i continue to have coffee when i don't like it but i just think one day i'll come across something that i'll like it. and then here we have this had such big praise in the reddit um the double shot and apparently it goes really nice and frothy so let's try this also i've never had this beaker before i would obviously use a reusable cup but that you're not allowed to at the moment because rona um but that is disgusting. 
I mean, I'd expect it to be disgusting because it's literally pure coffee. That, right. So if we're ranking them, gingerbread latte first by a small amount. And then it goes Mr. Honeycomb. Don't worry, I'm saving these for my fam because they love coffee. And then this, that, that tastes like toast. Why does it taste like toast? That is, that's not it, Chief. That was a bit of a flop. I don't think they're underrated. I think they are overrated, actually. <laughs> Just gonna put it out there. Like the pumpkin spice latte, I think that's a little bit overrated. Anyway, we are on our way to McDonald's now. And I'm gonna see if the subway's open en route. I don't know if anyone else has noticed, there are no subways anymore. They just keep closing down. And they've got a new vegan subway cookie and I really wanna try it. I don't know if they're gonna have it. It's even gonna be a thing, so. We'll see. I feel like I'm gonna need a breather after that coffee. Oh gosh. I feel like, oh, there's just so much coffee in my mouth. I don't know the drive throughs are not gas. Apparently, I really hope they have it on the menu. I really hope they have it. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, can I take your order, please? Hi, can I just have an individual uh, milk chicken BLT, but with no cheese, please? With no cheese, yeah? Y yeah, please. Anything else? No, that's it, thank you. Okay, thanks for next one, guys. Thanks so much. Oh, that was the most easy out of all the places we've been to. Where's my purse? Oh my goodness. Oh my word. That was a real freak out just then. I'm a bit nervous. I always get a bit shy when the camera's on at the drive-thru. Drive-thru send me into frenzy every time. I don't know if it's anyone else. I'm actually getting hot. I might have to, I might have to take the coat off. I'm actually getting hot. Also, my neck is getting itchy, but I don't know if it's from the roll neck or the coffee or what, but it's sending me into a frenzy. Um, so I am getting a McChicken BLT. I've never even had a McChicken before. I didn't even know they had those in the UK. This was top of the grid, so we're trying it. But as I said, American was very different. I think from what from what I read, American McDonald's even has ribs. I'd love to try every different McDonald's in the in the world. Like I know, I think it's Singapore has a really cool menu as well. Fine, right, you've got this, Grace. Why am I getting panicked? I'm flipping drive through. Oh my gosh, the man in the car in front looks like my dad. Thank you. Thank you. I think mine's going to take a while because I've gone for no cheese. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. I have a feeling mine's not going to be ready. I can just sense it in the air. From McDonald's, we have got the McChicken BLT with no cheese. Now, back in the day, if I got a meal deal, it would be a BLT. I used to love BLTs. But I just find the tomatoes don't really do much for me anymore. Where's the bee? Oh, there's the bee. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ru One rasher of bacon? Are you kidding me? That's not a BLT, surely. That's tiny. Also, I've never seen a chicken patty like this from McDonald's. Okay, I've never seen anything like this from McDonald's. I haven't, never. Okay, let's give her a go. I'm disappointed at the bacon because there's not enough bacon in there, but okay, let's try it. Do you know what, that's quite good. It's actually really good. Yeah, well, this is pleasant. Guys, guys. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. McDonald's know what they're doing, don't they? They are naughty, naughty, naughty. It's good, it's really, I mean, I'm actually in a mess, but I feel like the ratios of everything are just undescribable. The veg, just adding that little bit of acidity, the umami perhaps. Out of 10, would get again and would recommend to a friend. I love this, I really do. I can't believe I've never had it before. I think this is, yeah, I've never, is, um, is it underrated? Because no one's ever mentioned it before. I've never heard anyone talk about this and I think more people need to because it's so good. I'm gonna continue eating this and then we're gonna go home and hopefully en route we'll be able to get a Subway cookie, but I'm not feeling hopeful. So, cheers. Alas, no Subway cookie, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all loads. Have a great week. Stay safe and peace out, punks. Goodbye.